I get the question all the time, how do I get started in flipping houses? And I work with investors that flip houses all the time. And I was going to take a few minutes today to research a, a house for an investor. And I wanted to walk through I wanted to walk you through the process. Keep watching if you want to learn how to buy a house to flip so a house. So every morning, the computer system that we have sends out an email. Well, not every morning, but every morning that there's an update or a new listing or a change with a certain type of house, a criteria that you put into the system. And in this email right here, you can see that there is a, a, the, the, uh, the title of the email is, a, and the title of the search that I do is, $25,000 to $150,000 properties that need to be fixed up. Okay, so this was the one popped up today. 1031, I like the, I like the title because it's 10, there's a the thing called the 1031 Exchange and the address is 1031 West 38th Street. The 1031 Exchange is how you can save a ton of taxes. That's a whole other video that I need to do. But anyway, this house looked interesting to me because the price, it's a center block house, so they're usually pretty easy to redo. But let me walk you through this, how I, how I get this done. Now, one of the things you have to do and that I, that I do because I have access to the MLS that you don't, but you, there are other tools that you can use. So you can use Zillow. You can always call me and I can, I can help you go through this process. But what I did is, is around the house, I, I drew a circle just so we can see the comps. But let me show you the actual house itself, where it is. It sits right here, okay, on the west side of Savannah. And... The house itself is actually pretty cool because you've got, like I said, it's center block. It's very simple to redo. If it needs a new roof, there's not too much to do on a small roof like this. It's probably a 5, 12 pitch center block. Like I said, you just paint it, clean it up. You know, you can throw some siding on where that looks like to me. Let me put my glasses on, but it looks like peeling T111 siding. Probably need new windows or just replace the ones that are there. But, you know, you quickly go through the house, and like I said, it looks nice. It looks, the block looks nice. Inside is clean, which is great, because the, the, this owner did a good job getting the house ready for, uh, for sale. It looks like you're going to need some sheetrock. You could paint the paneling, depending on the condition it's in. The biggest thing right here is you can see the, the air conditioner, okay? If, when you go through the, all the pictures, it doesn't look like it has central heat and air. That's going to be a big expense. That could be four to five, six grand because you're going to need a, a, an entire system, duct work, everything. So probably needs a new roof. That's going to be four or five grand. Like I said, AC, five to seven grand, all new sheetrock. When you start adding this up, it goes pretty quick. The floors look like they're okay. You're going to re have to redo the floors. So you're going to be into the flooring for another four or five grand. The bathroom, you might be able to save, just replace the toilet. And I can't see the floor, but... This one looks interesting to me, but the problem is going to be when we flip over here to the other side here. Okay, the kitchen looks okay. Got it. You're going to have to replace. I'm pretty sure you're going to have to replace all those cabinets. You, I don't think there's any salvage in that. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be a pretty penny to, to redo a kitchen. It's probably going to be six or seven grand, five grand. You might be able to sell those appliances, but if you're going to redo the whole house, you need new appliances. So see, there's another AC unit. You're going to see another picture here. There's a there's another AC unit that might be the same room. There's a whole there's another AC unit again that, that might be the same room there's another bathroom there's another AC unit you can see from the outside backyard is small there's no garage okay so but okay so this is the house now let me let me switch over here when you look at the comps the comps this one does not seem to be that great of a deal because when you look at the comps here's a comp for 155 here's a comp for 234 that's on the other side of 37 so I don't know and that's a 4 2 so 92 285 370. So this house to me, the, doing the preliminary legwork on the computer, which is what you want to do, I don't think that the, the price is low enough for me to make an offer to flip it because you're going to be into it for at least 70 grand, maybe 80 grand. Okay. And, and, and again, I'm looking at this picture right here. You're going to need a new electrical service because that's not you know, once you start getting into this, you're going to have to redo that too. Sorry for the noise. My dog keeps walking in and out of the office here. So it's a cute house on the surface. It looked great, but then after you dig into it, it's probably priced too high for me and for any investors I work with for me to recommend that they, they pursue this any further. But this will show you, give you kind of an, an, an understanding on, on how you go through the preliminary step to picking a, f a flipper. 
If you have any questions, you can always call me. I can answer any questions. I can set you up on one of these searches so you can get the houses that we send out every... It's about every morning you're going to get an email uh, with one or two houses. It just depends on what's new to the market or if there's any price changes. So hopefully that helped and hopefully you learned something. And if you have any questions, give me a message. Thanks for watching. All you future real estate flippers learn something from that because this is the easiest way for you to do a lot of research and do it quickly because you don't have to drive. You don't have to get your keys. You don't have to drive around. You can do most of your research, the preliminary research, what I call a sniff test on the computer. And what we just did should help you out tremendously. If you have any questions, reach out to me at 912-844-9000. DM me, message me. I'm always here to help. And thanks for watching.